I just received my MacBook Pro 16 inch yesterday and I'm gonna charge it for the first time using the included uh, Apple 140 watts USB-C charger and compare it with the Koval 65 watts and the 120 watts model. MagSafe, 66%, that's the current state of charge. And we can pay attention to the power meter reading here on the left. Yeah, literally charging it for the very first time, it came with 81% of battery life. 113 watts, that's the max I got. It dropped a little bit under 100 watts. Now let's try it with the Cobalt. So the maximum rated um, total power output is 120 watts and I'm getting 96.4 watts out of this one single port. Okay, the MacBook Pro is by far the most power hungry device I have. So it does a great job charging the MacBook Pro 16 inch. So let's connect a, another USB Type-C to lightning cord see what happens when it's charging the MacBook and the iPhone at the same time so it looks like it cuts off and redistribute the power and now the power consumption the total power output is limited at 64.8 watts and now I think it's gonna increase a little bit okay it's, it's going up 75 that, so without such device, it's impossible to tell the internal working status of such a power brick like this. Uh, I can, uh, of course, connect more USB Type A ports to it. Maybe charge another iPhone or iPad. Um, but it looks like uh, when both USB Type C ports are used, it's not gonna give you the actual 120 watts. I think it is kind of reserved for other ports as well. So let me connect more power hungry devices to these two ports and see if I can push it to the limit. I've now maxed out all four ports. Power delivery to MacBook and the iPad using the Type-C ports. A battery bank from Basis charging at 15 watts. iPhone 13 using USB Type-A to these devices, USB Type-A. And now the uh, total power consumption is at 86.3 watts. I did not get the full 120 watts, but if we disconnect these devices, and now it's at 81%, almost at 1% per minute rate at 62 watts as it get getting more charge the charging speed will lower naturally now let's connect the uh, smaller power adapter 65 watts and see if we can get the same result it's rated at 65 watts max now i think it matches the power output of the um, specified rating. Let's see what happens if I connect an iPhone to it. The total power consumption will be lowered if you connect more device to it, but you will be able to still charging multiple devices at the same time. And let me also connect the other two devices like a battery bank and the uh, iPad. So this is the smaller 65 watts. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful. These are great travel companions, super compact with GN tech so much smaller than the um, original Apple charger, which has only one USB Type-C port.
65 watts, 120 watts, power delivery, four port. Very compact, super compact. Mm -hmm.